Trump is stubborn, Merkel likes to talk and Justin Trudeau is cautiously unorthodox, handwriting expert reveals what G7 leader signatures really say about them. The world leaders meeting at the G7 summit may have very different opinions on how to combat climate change. But according to handwriting expert Sheila Kurtz, signatures reveal all you need to know about them. Kurtz studies graphology, which can detect more than 5,000 personality traits from the sizes and shapes of your letters, as well as the spacing between words. Below is a document signed by each leader taking part in the two-day summit in Taormina, Sicily. The master graphologist has looked at each John Hancock to see what it reveals about the character of each of the leaders. President Trump's signature is markedly different from his printed handwriting. His pointy signature is stylized, skyscraper tall, and overpowers anybody else's. This is a sign of extreme vanity. Such vanity means that the writer inflates her or his self-esteem and brags that it's even bigger to others and is quite stubborn, according to Kurtz. Angela Merkel, federal chancellor of Germany She is of the most powerful women in the world, but Merkel's signature is not the easiest to read. Indecipherable. the letters are rounded and don't slant, and many of them don't even connect. According to Kurtz, this indicates a woman who is intuitive and has strong initiative. She likes to talk and has a vein of envy, she said. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada Prime Minister Trudeau's autograph is quite the opposite of his peers. There is a grand flourish to his letters, and he writes with lighter pressure to the paper Kurtz believes this is someone who is an extremely fast and effortless thinker. Someone who has long crosses over their T's, like the Prime Minister, is very determined and enthusiastic. He is cautiously unorthodox, yet overwhelmingly protective of his true character, Kurt said. Donald Tusk, president of European Council in comparison to the John Hancocks of his peers, Tusk's signature takes up little room on the page. According to past studies, those who write with small letters are shy or withdrawn. The sharpness of the letters also indicate it was written quickly, which shows a dislike of delay. Kurt says Tusk's signature means he is secretive, tenacious, cautious, and still enthusiastic. Emmanuel Macron, president of France The newly elected president's signature is sweeping, with the end creating an underline for his name. Our graphologists say this indicates someone who is self-reliant and of a lot of energy. Of the sharpness of his letters, Kurt says this means he moves quickly and expresses himself well. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan In the most notable difference from the other leaders, the Prime Minister doesn't sign his name with English letters but with Japanese characters. But Kurt says there is still an indication of the type of man he is. The characters are written sharply and with wide spacing, often not connecting. This means Abe is someone with high energy, very strong initiative, and holds on tightly to his beliefs, says Kurtz. Theresa May, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom in a similar vein to many of her counterparts, the UK Prime Minister has a rather illegible autograph. Her letters are curved, and there are wide loops, indicating a relaxed and spontaneous personality. According to Kurtz, this indicates that May is acquisitive or greedy in her goals. She hangs on tight to what's acquired and takes the initiative, she said. Jean-Claude Juncker, president of European Commission The politician from Luxembourg, has a very simple signature, essentially a capital J with a horizontal line running through it. Kurtz say this marks a very private person, as there is no flourish. He wants nobody to know him until he trusts them, she said. Melania Trump First Lady of the United States yesterday, Kurtz analyzed a note the First Lady left at a children's hospital in Italy on Wednesday for DailyMail.com and say it reveals plenty. Melania Trump's signature is stylized and practiced, like a logo, and its verticality looks similar to her husband's, according to Kurtz. But it is tight and cramped and lacks any sign of generosity of spirit. We also see signs of self-deceit, Kurtz said. She shows signs of intuition, which she may not trust and seldom uses. Her signature is half the size of his.